All right, welcome to another Swamp Cast. This week it's the University of Mississippi in Oxford that Florida will be playing, although they'll be playing them in Gainesville at the Swamp. And, Robbie, I guess one of the big things Florida has to worry about is it is a bit of a trap game. Yeah, it is. And Ole Miss has a, a pretty good offense, a quarterback who, you know, I think he's going to be in the NFL one day. If you look at the arm strength he has, the quick release, he's got some escapability. And you watch the Wake Forest game. Early in that game, he, they looked pretty unstoppable with him when he got into a rhythm. So Florida's got to keep him out of a rhythm. Charlie Strong talked about that the other day. They can't let him get back there and get comfortable. So you'll see some blitzing and things like that to get him out of his game. No question. And, of course, uh, they did a lot better against Wake Forest on the road than a certain team did at home against them yeah. offensively. But uh, we don't want to get into that Team right of the now. North here a little bit? Well, North, North West. West, yeah. But, um, you know, there's no question this is a game where Florida's just got to stay focused. They're the better team. they got better talent. You know, and I wrote this in, in my column, my picks column, Robbie. The last line in Bruce Feldman's great book, which I know you read Meat yeah. Market about Ole Miss and the recruiting, is uh, talks about how if Orgeron gets fired, he's leaving the refrigerator full. There's and talent. They, There's they've a lot got of talent players. Here. What I don't think they have are a lot of players. I think they've yeah. got players here, player there. They got a lineman that's really good. They got a defensive guy that's really good. Speed at wide receiver. Speed at wide receiver. Joe Hayden talked about it the other day. He goes, that number two dude was really fast last year, and that number two dude is back. So yeah, they got a, they got a two, fast. Is that uh, Shea um, or is that Marche? Uh, Marche Green, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember even running past yeah. Joe Hayden. In fact, Joe does too. <laughs> yeah, over out in Mississippi, and Florida had to hang on in that game. So it's gonna, yeah, you know, I've been telling people all week. I don't think it's gonna be a, a cakewalk. I mean, they're got to go out there and play good football. But uh, the one thing is, Ole Miss's defense a little shaky. Yeah, so maybe that we'll not see. real good in the red zone, especially apparently. All of you people who have uh, been criticizing the offense, you may get your wish and see Florida actually go up and down the field this week. I but, think people are expecting that. That's a big question. But if, if it, they run the tailback on the first play, don't boo, like we heard last week from Tennessee fans. That was nasty. Well, you know, it again, I, I, I've never been a big fan of booing. I don't see how it helps your team. And, and I would say this, Robbie, look what that probably did to Tennessee's recruiting last week. Yeah, they had all their recruits in. That had to look be bad, terrible. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're seeing them get booed, seeing them storm out of the stadium. Even the ones watching on TV, I was watching the tape again last night. Four minutes left in the third quarter, and they're showing this rush out. Yeah, of it's the like stadium. like they're giving away free something outside of the gate. There it was. I think Jeff Foxworthy was on again. I yeah. think that's what it was. <laughs> like Bates said in '96. Well, he did. He's one of He said did. It. He did. So anyway, we'll see what happens. Obviously for Florida, just trying to get going and get uh, the offense cranked a little bit. But the main thing is to get out of it with a victory uh, for the Gators because uh, th again, this week and next week, there are those types of games you think they would they would roll in, but. To me, you have to. One thing you have to look at, Robbie, is a stat I brought up in the paper the other day: 19 losses against the yeah, West. Yeah, they've had trouble with the West, no question. But you know, Urban's got them in the one-game type mode again: win the game, move on, and that's kind of what he's doing, managing the game. And right, the next two weeks, just get through the game, get to that LSU game undefeated at home. Can't let you go, Robbie, without asking about Alabama, Georgia, the game of the week by far. And thank you very much, Raycom, for picking up Florida early so we get to get home and watch yeah. it. What, my thoughts on that yeah. game? I think it might be a statement game for Georgia. Just a feeling oh, about that. Dogs big? You like dogs, the dogs big, big? Yeah. Wow. Well. Yeah, I just think that they're going to go up and down the field a little bit. No, Alabama's offense still doesn't do much for me. I think Alabama. This is either where they show whether they're about this year or next year. You know, because they're they're very young, and if they go out there and beat Georgia, th it doesn't matter that they're very young. If they go out and they get hammered by Georgia. Uh, then it says, hey, look, they're okay. They're yeah. going to be all right, but it's going to take a little while. It's not going to happen overnight. Yeah. I'm going to stick with what Nick Saban said at the beginning of the year, which was it's going to be a long process, and I think I'm with you. I uh, think Georgia rolls. Yeah, I think Alabama's another year away problem, even though they've got the quarterback now to do it. But, you know, I, I kind of think if they do win this game, though, they're kind of going to look like Florida in 2006 maybe. Yeah, absolutely. Senior quarterback, second year with a coach in there, so – Last thing before you go, Robbie, a paper in South Carolina, a student newspaper, says that Steve Spurrier is an arrogant old man who needs to leave. <laughs> do, you, do you think he took that well? The arrogant part he was fine with. The old man he's not going to be. He'd say, no, Norm Carlson's old. That's right. Norm Carlson came with the wagons <laughs> yeah. from Lake City. Yeah, that would bother him more than anything else. As much as he works out and stays in shape, and his goal is to live to be 100, you know. So. Yeah. I know. Well, he's you know, nowhere near that yet, so he's not an old man. Everybody talked about, you know, everybody called him the old ball coach, and yet he, nobody ever called he never called himself the old ball no. coach. It was the ball coach. Yeah, it's always the ball coach. Ball coach, yeah. Got some ball got plays. Got some ball plays. For the semis. All right. That's going to do it. Till the next Swamp Cast, which will be live. Well, it won't be live. Not live, taped. no. Digitally taped. Yeah. Not on actual From tape. the Swamp, Saturday. That's, no, we watch film here. We don't watch yeah. tape. <laughs> we will. No, be, we watch tape, not film.
That yeah, that's great. right. Yeah. 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 Have you watched the films film? back in the seventies? Yeah. I don't know if you know this, Pat. <laughs> I never got caught on that. A spurrier, a would, he did everybody out of town. People, oh, when you look at man. film, he goes, "We don't look at film." Where are you from? We don't. We don't look at film anymore. The old ball coats. Yeah, don't say that. Okay, you get in trouble. The arrogant one. I yeah. shouldn't say that either. Probably. Not say that either. Okay. This goes out all over the world. Okay. It's like Wayne's World. All right, we'll be right back uh, Saturday night with from the swamp, and uh, Trish will be putting that right up on the internet, and we appreciate her efforts, and we had a great time in uh, Knoxville. I know she enjoyed it up there. Uh, but this is that's it for today. We'll see you from the swamp on Saturday after the Florida Ole Miss game. Till then, Robbie Andrew, Pat Dooley, so long from the Sunshine State. <laughs>